This was a day, July 19th, when there was enough of the Earth illuminated that I could take a picture of the Earth. We could know we'd get a good picture of it. And where it was next to Saturn's rings, it wasn't obscured by the rings. And um, it would make just a really nice picture. We knew how bright Saturn was when we were looking up close with a telescope, uh, how bright the moons were and so on. So we put spectral filters into our cameras that would allow us to do all the science we wanted to do, but we also have filters there that allow us to compose a picture into natural color. So what you're seeing in this mosaic is 33 individual footprints, we call them, that have all been stitched together. At each footprint, we took multiple images in different spectral filters, so think of them as different colors. And we've taken the red, the green, and the blue, and we've composited them together to make natural color. So you are seeing a really genuinely natural color view of Saturn eclipsing the sun with the rings backlit and the glorious blue E-ring. And then, of course, in the lower right-hand corner, we see again our Earth a billion miles in the distance. When you point out that the little dot in the distance is our planet, it just, it's a powerful recognition, I think, in people that that's what we would look like in the skies of other worlds and how small we are and how not much different we are than Mars when we see it in the skies of Earth. But you can see that the Earth is from a distance is a pale blue dot. I don't think we will do again with Cassini a picture as glorious as this one. This is it, and it is my gift to the people of the world.